What's up guys and welcome to another TFN Tactics video. Today we are going to be looking at pushing, unit pushing, using very small vehicles such as the bike or the jeep that you get out of tier 1. Now the best way to show off pushing is by using the patented MG bike combo. It's been a long time staple opening for Wehrmacht players to, who like to have a very aggressive early opening. And uh, what I'm going to do, first of all, is just show you what happens if you don't use pushing in your regular play and you try and pull off an aggressive build order like this. Because you see a lot of players, they don't use pushing, they don't push units around when they, when, when they have the ability to, when they build a bike or a jeep, and you're losing a lot of the utility from the unit if you do it like that. So first of all, I've got my MG here, and I'm going to set it up in a fairly normal position at this VP, pointing up covering the fuel. It's a fairly normal position. You see a lot of players when they go for the left side of Angerville set it up in that way. And you can see we have a couple of uh, rifles getting ready to flank and let's just see what happens if I don't push first. So I'm going to try and fend off this flank but I'm not going to push the units. I'm just going to use the bike as, uh, as a damage dealer. So first of all I'll try and flip the MG to try and take out one flanking squad. But even though I've got the MG and it's going to suppress that squad there I'm still not doing enough damage with the bike, and even though I can try and flip the MG, it's not going to work. I might get a one burst off, but it's just not going to work. I can't kill both rifles quick enough, and I can't suppress them quick enough to keep them at bay uh, if I don't push the units. And what you end up with is this horrible situation where you lose all your units, you lose the bike, the MG's going to get stolen, everything's horrible, that's the game probably lost right there. So what we're going to show you is how you can employ pushing in your play to actually give you a drastic advantage over these sorts of scenarios. So this time I'm going to be showing you how you can actually use bike pushing to emerge victorious from this scenario when you're taking on two rifle squads. So as the flank begins to come in, the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to identify the rifle that is closest to the MG, the one that is potentially going to do me the most damage. So I can use the bike first as a scouting mechanism, and as the flank comes in, I'm going to be looking for the closest rifle. That's this one here on the left side. So I'm going to have my MG set up and point at that rifle. Notice, no pushing is necessary yet, but here comes the flanking rifle squad. So I'm going to keep him at long range where he can't do a lot of damage, and I'm going to do that by giving lots of face commands. Lots and lots of face commands around that MG. Then I'm going to flip the MG like that. Meanwhile, still giving lots of face commands to keep the rifle squad at a range where he can't do a lot of damage to me. After a couple of bursts, that rifle squad is now suppressed. I can then flip the MG again, and again I can employ pushing to push off this rifle squad using those face commands again. Bike is getting pretty low health now, so I've got to watch out for his health. But again, you can see pushing being employed to keep that rifle squad at bay. Even if he then came in from the side there, I could then just flip the MG because I have the range necessary to actually keep him at long range. So as he comes in again, even though the bike is fairly low health, if it was an absolutely critical point in the game and I was going to lose the MG if I didn't do it, I could probably give just about enough pushing to do that and perhaps get away with my life because a suppressed squad is a squad that isn't shooting me and I can still get away with a healthy bike. So that's how you can use pushing in an MG bike scenario. Thanks for watching.